welcome you guys welcome to prophecy my name is piper thank you for watching my channel this is your psychic read for the month of april um i am going to channel a message for you from spirit um and then um, i'm going to draw two cards from the tarot of the imagination and we'll talk about that um, <clears throat> if you wish to purchase an extended read for this video, there will be a link below in the description box. Just click on that and you'll be able to get a deeper, um, reading for the month of April. I'm going to, um, use three Oracle cards in the extended read, one for love, one for uh, finance and job, and one for advice from spirit, spiritual guidance, uh, for the month of April. So please join me for that. Um, okay, I'm going to start by channeling a message for you guys. This is my Iolite ball. <laughs> I use it when I channel. Iolites are special for Aries. So, um, I'm an Aries. You guys are Sag. It's come to this, has it? April has its rough moments for you, Sash, and you're a bit overwhelmed as to the possibilities of it all. It's great to be recognized. And we all have things to offer. But your gifts are being recognized to the max. It's a heavy burden and you've become very popular in demand even but you cannot appropriately deal with things unless you manage your time appropriately things are hot it's manifestation time and a lot is going on there are things to consider we have to be isolated. We have to become more talented in how we portray ourselves and how we communicate with others. Um, but the benefit lies in your talents. So some of you are great in your field and you're being recognized for that in the month of April, Sag. I feel like you're almost to the point where it's testing your capacity. Like your, your capacity for greatness is being tested. Um, and I feel like you guys are full on manifesting, but it's extremely difficult in this environment or your environment. And I feel like you have lots of support around you. Like people around you are saying, you can do this. You can do this. Like you're being cheered on by crowds. But you're, and you're, meanwhile, you're like, oh my God, I can't handle this. I'm, I'm overloaded. I have no idea how to make this work or if I can even carry this out. Um, it's a test of your will, a test of your stamina, a test of your guts even is what I'm getting. There is an element of, I also keep hearing something about wearing really bright clothes because it makes you stand out. Um, some of you saggies are physically impressive and it's going to help you to wear bright colors like orange and fuchsia and like lime green <laughs> because it's... Um, They, they're saying to me, it's a great way to get noticed, but I feel like you're being noticed. I feel like you're unable to stem the, the tide. And so, like you hear the saying, when it rains, it pours. And I feel like that's what it's like for you in April. Um. <clears throat> Uh, 
I feel like in the coming months, this feeling subsides a little bit. Like you get used to being in demand or you're, you're, you become a little bit more talented in the area of organizational skills. Um, it was for some, yeah, some of you, it's like uh, in April, like if, if you're, it's like a sudden influx of orders or you, you know, your, your order capacity is, is filled. Like you are struggling to keep up. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. You're super busy. Um, and things are, are crazy. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull a couple cards for you here. I'm actually suddenly all excited. Uh, I feel like you guys, <laughs> you may take a step back and, or while you're running around, at least take a couple seconds to think, how has this happened? Uh, you know, um, it, because you, you went from being at a complete standstill to running. And I feel like you're, you're questioning the universe. You're like, Oh my God, I love this, but it's too much. Or am I going to be able to do this? Um, you're doubting your capabilities. Uh, wow. Yeah, again, I, there's some, some of you where it's like, it's your destiny. And it comes upon you so suddenly that you're, they're saying it's like you're really, really industrious, but you're fraught, like you're, you're panicked. You're like, oh my God, this is like a lot of business and I can't handle it. Um, so if it's at work, you're inundated with orders or customers or you're in high, high demand. If it's in love, it's about having... Uh, I mean, we're all in solitary, basically, so I don't see how you could possibly be out dating the field. <laughs> but maybe you're online. I'm not quite sure, but you, you've got a, a boatload of options and you're having problems meeting quotas, whatever that means. I strongly feel that most, for most of you, this is at work. So let's see. I'm going to take two cards from my Tarot of the Imagination, and we'll talk about those cards. For Sag, please. Sagittarius in the month of April. Wow. Okay. First card, the stars. And there you are, Sagis. Uh, you are a star in the month of April. I'm going to take one more card, and then we'll have a chat about those. One more card for Sag in April, please. One more. Please. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So big doings. All right, here we go. I'm going to take three cards from the bottom of the deck. I'm going to put them up here. I'm going to discuss those in the uh, in the extended. Pardon me. <laughs> During my live broadcast today um, on YouTube, I was laughing because I had seen a video on not touching your face. And it was quite humorous because, it, you know, it, 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 if you catch it online, I don't even know the name of it, but it's a girl who can't stop touch or she, she isn't touching her face, but she goes to touch her face. And every time she does it, she does something else with her hands. And it just it makes you realize how many times you touch your face, like in the course of like 30 seconds, <laughs> which is quite a bit. <laughs> it's really hard to stop doing it. I'm having to modify my behavior. And when I do readings, I get tickles like, I'm having one right now, like on the left side of my mouth. <laughs> Try not to touch my face, but it's brutal. Okay, so the star card, Sag. The star card traditionally means healing, having faith. Um, yeah, there is something. You are being elevated. I feel in, in April to some sort of star status. You're in the limelight. The attention is definitely on you. I apologize. There's nakedness on this card. <laughs> there she is. Uh, and so have also have a little bit more faith in yourself. Be determined. Um, 
don't worry so much. It gets, it gets better. This feeling gets better as it goes on. Um, I keep hearing the same thing for this card. It's about becoming, for some of you, it's about becoming, I feel like you're just becoming stars. Maybe you get noticed from, you know, maybe you're an actor and you get noticed. If you're, you know, you're being elevated from like from a standstill to like 100 miles per hour in the month of April. Um, full speed ahead. But yeah. And so suddenly elevated to stardom. You also have the lover's card. Again, more nakedness. Um, <laughs> the lover's card is about Okay, so there's a this could be about love, but I, I don't really see it that way. I see it more about more like relationship. The lover's card is about somebody being seeing someone for who they really are. And I feel like this is you asking yourself or saying to yourself, I wish they could see me for who I really am. And so because the lover's card is about being able to deeply express yourself to someone without worrying about morals or history or um, appearances or it's about um, unconditionally, I hate to use that word, but it's about, it's about um, revealing oneself without fear of being judged. This is about being open to someone who is special to you. And I feel like Ooh. So some of you are going to become closer to someone in the month of April. Um if it's not your fans, Sag. It's, it's, it's a person. So for some of you, it's like, you know, you elevated to stardom and you wish they could see you for who you truly are. Um, because you're not a person, I feel, that takes things uh, lightly. And so to impress upon them how you truly feel about a situation or who you truly are is important to you. You want that message to be relayed, some of you, through your work. In other words, you, you, you're concerned, <clears throat> pardon me, you're concerned about your image. You don't want people to um, look at you like, you're a pawn in some game or that you become this way through being connected or um or maybe that you're not just another pretty face for some of you I do feel like you guys, if, if it's for both, if you're having great, you know, if you're being elevated, um, on a, on a, on a work level, being made a star, um, and there is someone who maybe you come enam become enamored with or become attached to in the process, I feel like you're hoping they see you as someone who is still like grounded and down to earth and not so involved in superstardom that you don't have their best interests at heart. There's something about image here that I kind of keep seeing. Um, also, some of you, yeah, wow, I see you guys burning the midnight oil for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um,
Yeah. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Please join me for the extended reading. Just click on the link below and I'll see you then. Thanks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you next month. Bye.